Hey, if you're aging, maybe you've heard of sarcopenia. If you're over 50, uh, it's this term age-related muscle loss. And we know that sarcopenia as we age is something we want to minimize. We want to help people maintain their muscle tissue. There's another term, dinopenia, and that is age-related strength loss. Uh, I say age-related because I think a lot of it's actually due to lifestyle, but dinopenia, the loss of strength as we age, we know that's also not desirable. And so we want to strength train. We want to help people make sure that they're Strength training at least two to three days a week is the optimal uh, improvements, maintenance, and improvements in their strength, uh, in their muscle tissue in general, just the muscle mass. And so there's a new term out though now in 2024, so part of the reason for shooting this video. And these researchers in 2024 coined a new term, which I think is really cool. Um, it's powerpenia. I'm Brian, by the way, from Strong Tower Neuro. Uh, we've been working with the active aging population, people over 50 for over a decade now. And we have been training people safely with speed and power type movements for a long time. But it's really cool now to see researchers starting to uh, try to actually bring some terminology and encourage more research in this area. Um, so their new term, powerpenia, is age-related uh, loss of power, loss of speed. So really cool term because it's self-explanatory. Um, what we know is that if you train fast, you can actually improve your speed. If you're not good at that skill, you can actually improve the skill. Um, so in a traditional strength exercise, let's say this is a band and I'm rowing and I'm going through like a traditional row here. And so that might be a, like a two pullback and then a two return, two, two tempo or a one, two, one, two, three, four. So slower tempos. With powerpenia, we want to make sure that there is a fast component to that movement. So if I'm doing a row or I'm drawing a bow back, I want to go back quick and make sure that at least during the concentric, maybe it's the eccentric, but part of that muscle contraction, we're training the fast twitch capacity of those muscles. So you can apply this to a lot of movements. Um, there is this common myth that if you train fast as you age, you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt other people. If you're a trainer working with people, um, that's just not the case if we're doing things with good form proper mechanics and we're also loading in a progressive way um, the uh, discussion around powerpenia then continued into 2025 it was cool to see another group of researchers jumped on board and said hey we're going to look at fast twitch muscle capacity we saw this new term come out last year so we're going to say powerpenia in a new in another study and they connected powerpenia to immunological function, which I thought was super cool. Um, and they're saying that they looked at specific um, immune system markers and then people with higher uh, fast switch muscle capacity, more fast switch muscle fibers actually had healthier immune function. And then by virtue of that, they're saying um, healthier aging. And so the ability for increased longevity potential and just healthier aging in general. So something really important to our clientele, wanted to bring you uh, just a little bit of info on it as we're starting to see things pop up in the research space around it. And there are gonna be a couple of studies here. We wanna make sure that we uh, give credit where it's due, cite the authors. Um, you can search uh, the titles of either study um, and then dig into like reading more up on it if you really wanted to. Uh, but wanted to give you just a quick research brief. Hey, remember to subscribe to the channel and continue tuning in. Let us know if this helped. Thanks.